What's up guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and we're back here on my Let's Play. And if you just heard a little bit of a sound, I'm sorry, I had to move my mic closer to me. Uh, some people do complain in my videos that I, uh, I talk a little loud, or that I end up screaming into the mic sometimes. And the reason is when I'm doing a Let's Play, I'm using my headset. So, uh, there's just, uh... A little bit of a problem with that is I'm half deaf. Not, not a lot of you guys know it. I don't make it known on my videos. I think I've said it maybe once before. Uh, some of my subscribers do know from open lobbies that I'm half deaf. And, uh, you know, it's something that I've had to deal with all my life. So I try to make my videos a little bit louder for people that are, uh, you know, kind of hard of hearing. Or, uh, you know, maybe have a laptop with shitty uh, computers and speakers and whatever. Uh, I try to try to do that just for those types of uh, situations because I did have a computer with a really shitty. Uh, it was really fucked up. Uh, zombie basketball time limit. Um, we're gonna have to play some zombie basketball. Sorry about that, but yeah, like I said, I do like to make my videos just a little bit louder because I am half deaf, but I do know what it's like to watch something and you can't hear it. And, you know, you might be a little bit embarrassed to ask about it or say something about it. Because, like, when I'm out with my friends, or one of the reasons I don't go to movies a lot is because of that. Is because, you know, sometimes I can't hear what's going on because the bass is too loud and it's drowning out my hearing. So, uh, yeah. Three minutes left for zombie basketball. How many points can I rack up? Let's, uh... Let's find out. Decapitate zombies' head and score points. Remember, you can also score three pointers. So let's uh, let's see what we can do with zombie basketball. Oh, all right. We gotta knock their head into the hoops. That's pretty cool. Oh, get out of here. He was goaltending, yo. That's fucked up. You're not allowed to goaltend. Let's uh let's beat up this guy so he doesn't goaltend again. Then we gotta get out to the three pointer and see how many uh points we can score. Let's go! Oh get out of here. Nice! Nice, that was a three pointer in one swipe. That's pretty awesome. Let's, let's get this go. Oh, he's blocking the shots again. Get out of here. we got two minutes left. What's our score? 50 points? I want to beat the zombie score. Get out of here. Stop blocking my head. Oh, it's zombie cheerleaders. That's awesome. Let's uh, see what we get for that. I don't think we get any points for exploding their heads into the baskets. Let's eat ourselves a lollipop before we die. We don't want to die during zombie basketball. This is like a fun little mini game. That would be fucking terrible. Look at these girls. They're fucking upside down and shit. Uh, should I use my zombie soul power? That's gonna make everything a one-hit kill. Awesome. I love the music that's going on right now. I wish I could play it for you, but I, I'm kind of scared of copyright, like I said before in my last, uh, video. This copyrights do shut down a lot of really good YouTube channels. Nice! I beat the zombies. Can't wait to see you in action again. Awesome. That was really fun. That was really intense. Like I said, this is one of those old school games that's just really, really fun. Just It has no point to it at all other than to beat the game. There is leaderboards, like I said before, but I'm not really too into leaderboards. But uh, there's a lot of explosives in here. Oh, no. No. That is not good. We need to get out of here. Where do I go? Woo! I was gonna beat up those garbage cans and get some shit, but uh... Oh yeah, and I found out before, right here, when the phone rings, you don't really pick it up. You uh, pretty much just uh... You can go into Juliet's secret stash if you push start. And we could listen to them later, so... I might make a video of us just listen to the calls and see exactly uh what we get, but we do have 319 medals, which means we can get some, uh, we're gonna get this chainsaw full swing, XXXY, alright, we'll remember that, and 179, we, we're gonna go ahead and get the, uh, 
cheerleader chain just to make uh, zombies groggy because the, the groggier the zombies are, the easier it is to kill them. They die at one hit afterwards, which is uh, really helpful. So if you are watching this and you are thinking about playing the game, keep that in mind. So let's see. This increases her strength. So we're going to go ahead and increase her strength. And uh, that way we can kill these zombies a little bit easier. And let's look at our skill tree to the left right there. Uh, we have a lot of health. We have a bit of strength. So we have no home and distance and no recovery. So that is uh, something we're going to want to look forward to in the future in updating. Uh, getting our recovery up. And our home and I don't know exactly what that is. But look at Jesus Christ. There's a lot of zombies. Let's uh, go. Yeah. That is awesome. See, that's what I like about this game is that even though there's a lot of enemies, if you oh shit, we gotta get up. If you uh, know exactly what attacks you're doing, you can inflict a pretty decent amount of damage to a lot of them really, really fast. And it helps that we dig up our strength. And I noticed that we we are killing the zombies a bit faster. So that's uh, I can't wait to see how strong she actually can get. I do want to get behind here because I see coins back there. And I guess I don't have to. I've already picked them up just by being near them. So let's kick this door open. Go in cop style. And there is a flaming teacher. <laughs> let's uh, watch out because if these fire zombies get in contact with us or a, uh, a, a zombie strapped with C4, they will blow up and they will cause a lot of problems like you just saw before, right there. But they weren't nowhere near me. So... That's good, but we don't want to get near the fire zombies. We want to meal kick the shit out of them and then give them one of those. <laughs> That's a uh, pretty good advice right there. The teacher is coming to kick my ass, though. She's uh, pretty good at dodging, too. <laughs> I wonder if she's a cum dodger. Uh, you kids don't need to know what that is, but <laughs> you can look it up if you don't want to know, if you really want to know. But I'm not going to tell you. That's kind of gross uh, to tell a bunch of kids. I don't know exactly how old you are if you're watching my channel. But my channel is geared more towards uh, the older adults, maybe 18 and up. So, uh, you know, you're going to find a little bit more adult jokes on my uh, channel than you will, like, somebody that's more family-friendly. I guess uh, C-Natters would be somebody that's pretty family-friendly. But he's uh, a little too wholesome for me. I, I wonder if he is actually wholesome in his daily life like that. Uh, you don't know. Like, w would you really, like, expect to hear, like... Uh, c Niners be like, man, fuck this shit. I don't feel like doing this shit. Go fuck yourself. I, I don't think I've ever heard him talk like that, but that would be pretty funny to hear, like, people that are wholesome talk like that. Oh, no, I gotta do this walk thing again. No. No. I keep pushing the wrong button. <laughs> All right, now we got this down. Ah, oh, I pushed the wrong button again. I am terrible at these rhythm games. I, uh... I don't know what the actual buttons are on the Xbox. I only know them by color. And I'm kind of doing that right now. I'm like kind of looking at my controller. I don't have the uh, buttons really memorized like that. Like a lot of people would. So I do suck at mini games. I'm better on them on the PlayStation. Because I did uh, play a lot more PlayStation back in the day. And the controller has really never changed. And holy shit. Stop shooting. Oh yeah, these are the cops guys. We don't want to get shot by them. So... We're going to keep our distance and try to keep our health up with these lollipops. Man, get off the ground. It reminds me of cops, too. It's like, they're over here just trying to beat me down. It's like, huh, bad boys, what you want? What you want to do when you're beating up a girl in high school? <laughs> oh, shit, he's shooting me in the head. Not cool, zombie. Not cool. You know, this game is a little bit different than most zombie games. So there's a lot of zombie games, you know, zombies aren't very smart. They don't have a lot of, uh, you know, they don't really have weapons. And I just mule kicked this guy straight to the Rainbow Oblivion. That was fucking epic. But, uh, yeah, these zombies have weapons. And, like, I did see the previews. There is a zombie that's, like, a metal Viking zombie. So that's going to be interesting to see when we come up upon that. And, uh see all the different various types of zombies in here because these guys are smart <laughs> you don't want to fuck with smart zombies because not only will they bite your face and we're trying to maintain like i said before a bite free face uh they will shoot you so that's not good that's something that uh 
You only see him like Resident Evil, I guess, when the zombies, like the team. I guess it's only the uh, the tyrants that were pretty smart. Nemesis was uh, a zombie that used weapons, so it's uh, pretty cool to see them go down that road. Especially since like uh, a lot of zombie games get stale. I do like Left 4 Dead, but Left 4 Dead 2 just seemed like more of the same old, same old. It's kind of like, uh, you know, when you're going ahead and you're with a girl for a long time, and it's just like the sex gets old and bored, you gotta spice it up and put a gun in somebody's hand. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, nobody here has sex with guns. That's a, a terrible situation for everybody, because that usually means somebody's being forced. <laughs> And it's not funny. Forced sex isn't funny. I'm sorry about that, guys, but rape isn't funny. I've already made a video on that, actually, about how unfunny rape actually is. Uh, but we're not going to get serious about that, because we're kicking zombie ass right now. And to get serious would be a fucking total contradiction to my videos. I'm just trying to have fun, beat the shit out of some zombies, keep you guys entertained. I don't want to just be like uh, my first few videos when I was like, really surprised at a game. It was my first reaction. I was like, yeah! <laughs> fucking A. Uh, I don't know if you guys actually really like that style of video. I enjoy making it because then I get to show you guys like the type of emotions I'm going through while playing the game. But uh, I do want to try to keep a topic or some type of... It's hard to do that during a Let's Play. Especially when you got... Oh, shit. Um, go near him. Go near him. Go blow him up. Go blow him up. Get away from me. Ha 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 ha! Alright. Fire plus dynamite zombies equals that. Uh, but it's cool because we used them against them and we got through and there's more Elvis zombies. Or, I guess that's, that's more of a James Dean. But he does have a guitar so I'm going to call him uh, James Presley. <laughs> and we're mule kicking again. I got to point out every time I mule kick because it's freaking awesome. I wish more games allow you to mule kick. Imagine if like Call of Duty... Instead of knifing somebody, you had to mule kick them to get that one hit kill, and their body went flying. That right there would be fucking sweet. It'd be like you'd see like montages of people mule kicking the shit out of everybody. That would be like the search and destroy match that I want to be in, is where everybody's just sitting there kicking the shit out of everybody. And he said they found a new virus, which is a uh, if the zombies are creating their own virus, I am not down with that. Uh, I don't know if you guys are, but zombies and science is a bad combination. It's kind of like when, when you see robots in Terminator, and you're like, Oh no, the robots are learning. They're sentient. They're going to fuck us up. That's a bad time for everybody. <laughs> I don't know if this guy is a boss, but he looks like the boss from the first level. So one can only assume that this guy might be a boss. Uh... We're not sure, but we're getting pretty uh, deep into this Let's Play. We're almost uh, finished with the second stage. and I notice each stage takes about like maybe two or three episodes to get done. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I don't want to flood videos out too often. I know you guys do like these videos. A lot of people have been saying uh, they want to see these more often. But the whole thing about that is, is uh, I don't want to flood videos on you guys. I don't want your sub boxes being filled with like five videos a day. If you do want me to flood these videos out and get them out before the end of the week, I will finish the game fast for you, but uh, I, I'm trying not to do that, and we seem to stumble upon a new area, so we're going to go ahead and uh, save it up right here. We're at our 14 minute mark, so that's about right for a Let's Play. I don't know exactly how to properly do a Let's Play, but when we come back, we will be going into the shop and buying some more shit and seeing if we can make this one more badass bitch. <laughs> Uh, that's not that's not the right way to say it, but that's kind of fucked up. But my name's Jay. More than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys later.